Right now at 11, a new phenomenon making handguns even deadlier are being found at alarming rates on the street. Machine gun conversion devices are the size of a dime, but when attached to the back of a handgun, allow for multiple rounds to be shot with just one pull of a trigger. Gladys Batista met with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms in Louisville today, their special agent in charge, about these illegal devices. Gladys, this is posing a real challenge for authorities. Yeah, that's right, Vicki. And here's the thing, they're new. APF Louisville Special Agent Sean Murrow tells me they only started training law enforcement to look for these a year ago. And since then, they found more than 100 modified handguns so far this year compared to none in 2020. And the more it fires, it has a tendency to ride up. So the opportunity for uh, uh, bystanders and innocent civilians to be uh, injured is, is significant. ATF Louisville Special Agent in Charge, Sean Murrow, has seen the number of modified handguns with these illegal dime-sized machine gun conversion devices or auto sears attached to them explode in the last two years. Just one pull of the trigger means dozens or even hundreds of rounds can be shot in seconds. The people that have these guns are often untrained, uh, often uh, not familiar with firearms, uh, often not thinking about the consequences of using a gun. After noticing the rapid rise of these devices on Louisville streets within the last year, the ATF only added this into the training they offer other law enforcement agencies at the beginning of this year. Since then, more than 120 of the devices have been confiscated in the city so far, compared to less than 15 in all of 2021 and none in 2020. Is it possible that they could have maybe confiscated more guns with this device? They just weren't aware at the time? Absolutely. Yes, I, I, I actually, I absolutely believe that that would be the case. But the consequences of these heighten the potential for injury all around. Merle describes incidents where trained officers handling a modified handgun have accidentally discharged it. And on the streets, ATF agents say the suspect who was originally charged in the Big Four Bridge shooting that injured six people had this device on his handgun. He was cleared of wrongdoing for state charges because they believe he acted in self-defense. However, he is facing federal weapons charges. They are produced uh, uh, in the aftermarket. They're not, uh, they're not made by a manufacturer. Uh, they're produced by... Uh, gun hobbyist or illegally uh, in some uh, facility overseas. There's no safety compliance. Merle tells me they can get to the U.S. from overseas warehouses and even be made on 3D printers. They are just a major danger for officers and the public. He praised the work of LMPD so far and really adhering to that training and getting more modified guns off the street. He says someone can be sentenced up to 10 years for just having that device on their handgun. Live in the newsroom, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News. Thank you, Gladys.